All right, so I didn't really have a lot of time to prepare for this one, so I just kind of took a quick win here. A lot of people might understand this already. I've got uh, what episode number four is the shielded metal arc welding electro designations. Uh, shielded metal arc welding, commonly stick welding or arc welding or all sorts of different names for it. But shielded metal arc welding, we start off with our E. E just simply means that it's an electrode. So when you're dealing with more of your just low carbon steel electrodes, which is what this is covering right now, it comes with four letters after the E. So when we look at it, the first letter here, this X, is going to be your, it's going to designate what type of flux coating that electrode has. That can be uh, lots of different things. Uh, commonly, you know, we've got zero, we've got one, we've got pretty much two through nine, and we've got them all, and it, uh, will tell you whether it's cellulose or low hydrogen or whether it runs on AC polarity only and certain certain types of things like that. So then our second X is fall down is that's going to let us know what the position of welding is. So if it is a one, it's an all position rod, two is kind of means it's meant for flat and horizontal welding only. And then between threes and fours when you, it kind of is designed for a vertical down rod or certain other designations like that. The next two is your minimum tensile strength in KSI. If you get into some low alloys, you'll end up with a third X over there. And so what that basically means is, uh, let's just say for instance we have a... 7018 welding electrode here. So what it is is 70,000 PSI is your minimum tensile strength, the one being that it's all positions, and the eight meaning that it is a low hydrogen welding electrode. So what that means is that when I get into like the minimum tensile strength is if you were to weld up a sample that's just all weld metal that sample has to pull at a minimum of 70,000 uh, PSI in order for that to be an acceptable batch of material. And then, like I say, if there's a third X there, it's when you get into some lower alloy and higher strength as you get to 100 KSI, or 100,000 PSI, 110, 120. That uh, just goes up in expensive. But that's the quick win that I picked for welding episode number four, shielded metal arc welding electrode designations. I uh, hope you learned something. If you want to expand a little bit more on this, please leave a comment. There's a lot more ways this can go. So thank you and again, hope that uh, this was useful for you.